Setup of the core fitness roller is very quick and easy. As you see, we have the carrying strap, the locking lid, the extension arm, the stability wedges, and you're all set and ready to go. I like to place the stability wedges as close to the end and the top as possible without actually being over the foam. The reason for this is that it's always helpful to make sure that you're actually on or in front of the stability wedges as they provide levers for some of the movements that we're going to be doing today. So as we discussed, the pieces are the core foam roll itself, the stability wedges, the extension arm, the steel clevis, the locking lid, and then you have the variable resistance modules here and here, along with your universal straps. With the variable resistance modules, you want to make sure that you've got the right side facing up. And how you can tell is that the silver on the top will be the correct side, and you'll have movement 180 degrees, as you can see this way, and this way. With no buttons pushed, you've got three pound resistance. With push of one button, top or bottom, you go to six. And with the push of the second button so that both are in, you're now at nine. 